Hi, I'm Carla. Joe is joining me in studio today to demonstrate Virabhadrasana number two. Virabhadrasana two is named after the warrior um, Virabhadra. So Virabhadrasana two is the warrior pose. There are a number of warrior poses in yoga. Virabhadrasana two is a standing pose. Coming to stand in the middle of your mat, you will bring your fingertips to your chest and you either step or jump the feet apart. Now, when you take the feet apart, you want to make sure that from the wrist bone to the ankle, um, you've taken the ankles as wide as the wrist. So there's a nice straight line from the wrist bone to the ankles. At any point in time, you can keep the hands on the hips. You can rest here. So as a beginner, if you're just working on your distance, you're working on the strength of the legs, don't strain yourself. The legs have to be absolutely strong. The kneecap is drawn up. In um, most of your standing poses going to the side, you turn the one leg out all the way. So we'll come to the right first, turning the right leg out from the inner groin, taking the whole right foot to face out to the side. Here, you wanna keep this right buttock engaged so that this right hip doesn't slide back. Both hips are facing forward. The back foot in Virabhadrasana two, you want to turn the toes in slightly, Keep this left knee facing the front. Now extend your arms if you were resting them. Relax the shoulders. Keep the breastbone lifted. Feel that you're opening from the collarbones to the thumb and from the small finger just retract. On an exhalation, you want to keep the shoulders over the pelvis. You're going to bend the right knee. So this left leg stays long. From the root of the left thigh, you slide to the right, and you want to bend that right leg to a 90 degree shape. In the classic pose, you're turning your head to look past your right arm, but as you do, really strengthen into that left leg, really strengthen and stretch into that left arm. Don't let those parts of the body become dull. The grip of the foot in front is on the heel, don't grip the toes. And when you're ready to come up, strong back leg, lift, the, straighten the whole leg, don't just straighten the knee, turn the feet. If you need to rest your hands, you rest your hands before you go to the other side. You want to make a nice 90 degree angle with that foot. So at any point, if you need to change the distance between your legs, you do. Extending the arms again, extending the sides of the body without lifting the shoulders. Turn the whole left leg out completely from the root of the thigh. The right toes turn in a little bit. You can turn the left leg a bit more. Now, resisting with this right thigh, keep the left buttock in, bring that left hip forward. As you exhale and bend the left arm, you resist the left leg, sorry. You resist with that right arm and leg. Keep this right leg strong. Keep opening from the left groin to the left knee and suck in that left buttock. And when you've turned the head, keep resisting into that back arm and leg. And in your own time, when you feel ready, straighten the leg, press into the heel, straighten the leg, don't just jam the knee and bring the feet together. You can step them or jump them together, coming back to Tadasana. The important thing to remember in Virabhadrasana too, when you bend the knee, is not to let the knee swing towards the big toe side. So the buttock has to come in, the knee stays back, this groin stays open. Right, thank you for joining us. Enjoy practicing Virabhadrasana too, a very strong, powerful pose.